When my wife and I bought our most recent home, one of the things I told her is we have to have a nice basement space. That's a must have for me. And if that's you, you are in luck because our next guest is going to tell you how you can have an awesome space in your basement. This is Abe Degnan from Degnan Design, Build and Remodel. Hey Abe, how are you doing? I'm doing great today, Justin. Thank you. Excellent. So good to have you with us here today. One of the things, you know, when I looked at the very first photo of this project, yeah. I did not realize that this was a a basement shot that we were looking at it is so gorgeous so talk to us about this a little bit and, and how did the family decide they needed a finished lower level well see that's the whole thing I love to call it a finished lower level because it is so much more than a basement when it is done right Basement's a dirty word maybe a well bit. you know <laughs> it, it may be good for SEO but the right? thing is yeah. um, it, it is a lower level because yeah. it is a continuation of the home it is and uh, and that's exactly what we wanted to have here a continuation of the home Home, something that was every bit as high quality as the rest of the home but you know the deal is our clients they were having another baby and they have a teenage daughter and so the teenage daughter needed another bedroom and um, Steve needed a man cave and it was time <laughs> for a finished lower level for them okay so the dad got what he wanted the teenager got what she wanted so uh, what was the original basement like I mean obviously we're seeing some pictures here yeah totally, totally unfinished totally unfinished yeah. so you know totally unfinished um, a typical situation you got heat ducts in the way you got mm. columns and beams mm -hmm. in the way um, the great thing is it did have a couple of windows several windows looking out which makes it a perfect place for a bedroom yeah um, it had the rough in for the sink and the toilet and the shower ready so that you know we were able to do the bathroom uh, down there for the daughter and it's rather spacious in the end you know but there is yeah. all those things to work around like the duct work and the plumbing and the columns that support the house and then we have a couple of surprises like plumbing cleanouts that are in the floor and you got to figure out how do you deal with a plumbing cleanout I can't wait to show you that in another picture yeah so how, how did you solve some of these problems obviously there is challenges in any project but these are you know interesting when you come with a completely unfinished basement so how do you overcome some of those challenges well you know so the key is good design um, mm -hmm. and a couple of things that I'm going to show are going to be the way that the ceiling works out the way that we hid the columns the place where the uh, bar needs to go and things of that sort so when when you've got duct work and you got plumbing pipes and things like that you want to make it look good mm -hmm. instead of making it just look haphazard right and so you know that's one of the things that I'm going to show here in a minute and then when you got the things like the plumbing clean outs you got to figure out because those are needed but you don't want to see them coming up through your floor right you got to design around where the furnace is you got to leave room for servicing the furnace and the water heater and things of that sort dealing with the plumbing pipes and then when you're trying to put in a wet bar in a finished lower level one of the, it's really easy to run water lines where water lines go but to get that drain pipe you got to put it in the right place and we okay. had one place where we could put that wet bar in this project okay okay so was that luck or did, did you just have to kind of design around that? We had to design around okay. that. That's the real thing. Yeah, that's yep. where the fun comes in for you guys, I'm sure. <laughs> it is, yeah, yep. So as we got going here then, you know, we box out and hide those columns and we make them, we make them look good, we make them look significant. Oh, sure, yeah. um, and over in the corner here, you can see where that wet bar is beginning to go. Yeah. And then as we look through, you know, if, if you see carefully in the picture here, um, up in that picture, we've got a picture of the way that the soffit comes out because you got to think about lighting and the way your light fixtures are going to hang oh, sure. um, yeah. and 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 making that all fit together and one of the other things I like to show off our red build clean uh, dust protection system is in here okay. it keeps the dust out of the air and helps it from getting to other oh. parts of the home and that's one of the ways that we keep our clients clean clean when is that we're sitting up on those sawhorses there? it is okay. yeah yep yep that red and white filter right there Okay, and so this is the final result. I mean, this is, I, I, I'm stunned by this fireplace. This is just gorgeous. Well, and you know, and so it provides several functions because they didn't have a fireplace anywhere else in the house. They yeah. really wanted one downstairs. It yeah. provides heat on a day like this when it's bright and sunny out and your furnace isn't running upstairs, but you're still chilly downstairs. You yeah. kick in that fireplace. Yeah. And then the really cool thing, besides it being beautiful, is that wood hearth that we have down at the bottom. It's a yeah. gas fireplace. Well, that wood hearth is removable and oh, those wow. plumbing pipes that were in the way are hidden underneath there for the clean outs uh, in case they ever have a sewer backup they can get to them. Okay, wow. wow. 
And then as we were going along here, um, you know, the daughter's bedroom is back in here, the furnace is blocked off and everything like that. And so you do the drywalling and you get everything done and clean. And so then you get the finished product with a bedroom. Yeah. She gets a little walk-in closet, but then she gets her own semi-private bathroom here with her own shower um, and uh, everything like that. Dad gets his bar, <laughs> mom gets her locked liquor cabinets. And there you, you know, see what I was talking about the lights? Yeah, those are beautiful. The lights hang and that conceals our ductwork, but it's very oh, beautiful sure. and intentional instead of just coincidental. Sure, not just some random you know, shape that's on the ceiling. In that's other words. right. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, if somebody's interested in making their basement look like this, how do they get started? The best place to do it is to head to our website at DegnanDesignBuildRemodel.com and then click on the Get Started Here button. All right, Abe Degnan, thank you so much for being here with us today. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Justin. Don't go away. There's more after the break. Stick around.